If you give a mouse a cookie, written by Laura Numeroth, illustrated by Felicia Bond. I like this book. Have you read any of these kinds of books? Laura Numeroth and Felicia Bond worked together on lots of books called the If You Give books. So there's like, if you give a moose a muffin, if you give a pig a pancake, things like that. Well, this is the very first one, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Well, I think it's the very first one, but I like it. So let's read this story today. If you give a mouse a cookie. Mouse has a nice little home. If you give a mouse a cookie. Written by Laura Numeroth, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. That would be embarrassing. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. It's <sighs> a lot of work. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books. And he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. with a pen. Then he'll want to hang the picture on your fridge, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that He's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. Does the boy look tired? I think he is. The end. What did you think? Do you ever ask for something? And then once you have it, you go, oh, but I need this with it. And then I need this. And then I need to do that. And then I go there and do this thing and do that thing. And you get so busy doing all the things that you don't even know what's going on anymore. 
that happens to me. It happens to me a lot when I'm cleaning. I'll pick up one thing. I'll be like, oh, I need to go put this over here. And then I'll go. And I'm like, oh, I need this. I need that. And I'm everywhere. <laughs> well, I like this book. I hope you did too. Maybe you can tell the story to somebody else. Can you retell this story? Can you remember enough about the plot, about the problems and the things that are happening and then how things calm down? Well, I hope you enjoy talking about the plot of this book with somebody today. Goodbye.